of the Nemesis deconstruction site, all of Nemesis's track has now all been removed. Um, and obviously that's completely different to last time, about a month ago, when we visited the park and they had, the most recent section they had taken out was the first corkscrew. Um, back then they had taken out the first and second corkscrew and the last turn just before the breaks and also the entire helix. Now that all of that is gone. Not only that, but also it seems that new track has also been spotted being built. It's not been confirmed by the park or the manufacturer, but it's it's pretty a uh, high chance they could be Nemesis new track. Hello and welcome to another video and today it's going to be part three of the rebirth of Nemesis and it's actually the first time we're actually in the park again since December when the series starts and a lot of progress has been made since last time we we're actually in the park um, and obviously they've actually built a new viewing platform just next to Nemesis Subterra you can actually view the construction or so say deconstruction of what's the Nemesis site and oh my word, it looks absolutely like mental what's going on right now. They literally blocked off all the entrance portals where you would normally walk past Nemesis. Well, by the looks of it, they've completely blocked it off. And oh my word, this looks absolutely amazing. So we've just gone to this area from a different angle and these walls are just surrounding the entire side. You can just see what I'm now going to coin as the iconic Nemesis Crane. And there's actually a little bit of a hole just for this gap to see if I can spot anything that's different than last time. And oh my word, there's a lot that's different. All the track is completely gone. Obviously most of the stuff that's happened so far the track has just been removed and it's literally just been sat there since they put up all these like fences in front of it they actually spotted a bit of scaffolding just like just under the base of where the court, first court school used to be I'm not sure I can, if I can see it from here but that's just made like the whole like gap the whole area a lot clearer about the track and there's more the station is slightly more visible than before and so is the lift hill and it's just so weird seeing this whole like area without any track, it's so unusual and so weird. And I imagine it won't be long though before they actually start placing new track in. Um, obviously they've got to do all the new footers first, um, and obviously that's going to take quite some time. But then once they've done that, they can start placing new vertical construction in. Now obviously we couldn't get up to the viewing platform which was spotted being built because that's closed off. Not sure why, but I'm hoping that'll be opened up soon. And if it does, I'll be able to get a much better view from the actual ride itself um, being basically deconstructed and rebuilt again. And this is quite, like, shocking to see. Um, there's no track anyway. Obviously, normally from this angle, you won't see much of the track anyway, apart from the, the most significant parts of the track that have gone from this angle, the corkscrew zero G-roll and the top part of the vertical loop. But I'll walk around Galactica, see if I can spot it from any different angles. Oh my word. So I was finding yet another gap, they've literally blocked off even like a part of the main plaza area for Galactica. They're literally as if they're trying to stop you from seeing it until that viewing platform opens. We can just see where the brake run ends and that is, that is very unusual to see. 
I have li I've literally never seen a roller coaster ever been like taken apart like this in person. So this is very, very. This is like the first sort of thing for me, really. And this is very, really cool. To see, I'm actually, even though it's literally right being demolished, it's gonna hopefully, well, it's gonna reopen next season. So it's not gone forever. Plus, because you can just imagine in the future, like telling future generations we saw this ride getting like taken down and rebuilt again imagine being able to see that that would be so cool yeah there aren't really a lot of areas we can actually see this ride um this ride it's deconstruction process because the witch has just gone overkill with all the construction fences they've put all like phalanx propaganda saying um scientific investigation underway sign up for more details um but the viewing platform that they've built near subterra is currently closed off and we don't know when that's going to open They've literally placed like actors around that whole area. If you ask them what's going on, say they literally, like it's like when Oblivion was being built. They'll say this, this is currently classified and we cannot divulge any information at this time. It's, it's actually really cool how they're doing it, and I absolutely love it. But yeah, hopefully when we come back here next time, that view platform will have opened, and we'll get a better angle from from there. So yeah, that is it for this part, of this episode of the rebirth of Nemesis. Um, obviously, we'll be back here in April and hopefully they will have opened that viewing platform up near Subterra and if they do that, and I mean it looks like quite a big viewing platform, it looks like they've put a lot of like construction into that and we don't know what it's for, they could be just like hyping it up a lot um, but we've seen a lot of construction around Subterra which there's a lot of signs that that could be reopening which it, but could be really cool if it would um, they could reopen it to like tie in with all this storyline with like the phalanx um, investigating Nemesis which could all tie in with Nemesis reopening um, and obviously they trademarked the name Nemesis Reborn for the attraction as well. Um, so we don't, we don't know if this is actually for Nemesis itself or for Subterra if that reopens. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Obviously we'll be back here in April. And fingers crossed the viewing platform will be open again. If so, um, I can get better angles of the construction site from there. So I want to thank you all very much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it then please make sure to like, subscribe. And comment with likes in the next video. Bye.